Hi YouTube, I came across this video that I took quite a few years back and what you're seeing in front of you is a pair of convict cichlids that have had babies. So this looks like a success story but in actual fact it started off as a complete disaster story. So we had this massive aquarium set up and we had all kinds of cool fish in there like uh, silver angel fish and we had uh, neon tetra, mollies, uh, all kinds of cool fish. Uh, little tiny kind of uh, guppies and things like that and it was just like the perfect setup everything was working in harmony and we were really pleased with it and we went into a um, aquarium shop and we saw some of these convict cichlids and we thought they look nice and we asked about it and we said are these uh, fish that you can keep in with other fish and the guy in the shop said, yeah, yeah, they're fine with other fish. Um, but be warned, they're not fine with other fish. They actually killed off every other fish in our tank and we were just left with these two convict cichlids. Um, so I took them and I separated them into this really tiny little tank. It's probably like a square foot or something like that. And they almost instantly had babies. I kept the tank just really simple here, it's just a, a little bit of gravel on the floor, not even any sand or anything, and there's a hide in here, just a you know, broken flower pot that they can go in, and obviously if you have come across cichlids before, what they do is if there's a, any kind of threat, they suck all their babies up and they hold them in their mouth, they're not eating them, they're just obviously protecting them. Uh, and then when the threat passes, all the little baby fish come out of their mouth again. They really like arranging things, so you can probably see these guys picking up bits of gravel, moving them to different places. I did have a couple of other videos I was hoping to attach to the end of this, when the little babies had grown on a bit. Uh, because it doesn't take them that long before they start uh, changing colour and getting the little stripes. And they look really cool. And they fill the tank really <laughs> quite well. So anyway, I thought I would share this video just so that nobody else makes the same mistake that I did. If you've got a really big community set up with lots of really cool fish in it, be careful, do not buy any convict cichlids. Um, having said that, if you want to breed your own convict cichlids, maybe it's a good idea just to put them in a tiny little um, tank like this. Maybe this is the way to go. Um, this has just got a little tiny aquarium heater in it and a small filter you've got to be careful that the filter is not one that's going to suck up the baby fish that's the only thing um but yeah be warned that really big tanks with lots of fish these guys will probably kill them all off um, we had uh, all little coolie loaches and um yeah all kinds of cool fish and loads of plants as well and these guys kind of wrecked the plants they were like pulling them up out of the substrate and things as well they cause chaos so yeah be warned um if you like this video check out my other animal videos uh hit subscribe to see anything i post up in the future thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next video